Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to lecture 76. So, we have started with uh, orbit determination and we will continue with that. Uh, so, if you remember last time we have written the state equation. So, state equation it was defined as x tilde dot equal to x 1 dot x 2 dot x 3 dot x 4 dot and where we have defined x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4, x 5 and x 6. This is x y z, x dot y dot z dot. So, according to this notation x 1 dot is equal to x dot then y dot z dot x double dot y double dot and z double dot ok. And finally, we wrote it in a format. So, what we see from uh, this place x 4 equal to x dot, x 5 equal to y dot and x 6 equal to z dot. So, here we write x 4, x 5, s x 6 and then x double dot the basic equation we had uh, okay, x double dot equal to minus mu by r q x. This was our basic equation. So, we replace this quantity is here y double dot by minus mu by r cube y and z double dot equal to minus mu by r cube z. And finally, everything we write in terms of x 1 y 1 and so on. x is the quantity here x 1. So, we write here x 1. Similarly, this becomes x 2. Okay. And this we can write as f 1, f 2, x tilde, f 3, x tilde, f 4 f 6 x tilde. So, you can see that our uh, state equation it can be written as f times x tilde where f equal to f 1 to f 6. Okay, we do one more operation here in this place and also we should note that r square equal to x 1 square plus y 1 square plus uh, x 1 x 2 x 3 square which comes from x square y square plus z square. Okay, once we have got this, so without currently explaining what I am doing, I just want to linearize this equation. Okay. 
So, this can be written as from your Taylor series expansion you can just look into that. So, delta x dot equal to dou f by dou x tilde times delta x tilde it can be written this way. Where f, f is also a vector and x is also a vector. So, the, this forms your Jacobian. And this we can write as dou f 1 by dou x 1, dou f 1 by dou x 2, dou x 3, Okay. Similarly, the other terms can be written dou f 2 by dou x 1, dou x 2 and so on. Dou f 3 by dou x 1 and, and the last one will be dou f 6 divided by dou x 1 and here dou f 6 divided by dou f 6 by dou x 6. So, this forms the Jacobian matrix. So, one by one all the 36 elements need to be evaluated. So, let us do few of them I will evaluate and the rest you can check yourself. If we go back, so f 1 is x 4. So, dou f 1 by dou x 4 this becomes and f 1 is x 4. So, this gives you uh, uh, dou f 1 by we are evaluating 1 dou x 1 the first element we are evaluating. So, this is 1. And these are all independent variables. Okay. Here, if you look, once we have casted it in the form of the state space format, so x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, they are all appearing as independent variable, and therefore this quantity is zero. So if you look this way, so the quantity from this place to this place, all of them will be zero. You can check for another one. Let us say do f2 by do x2. So, dou y dou x 2 and f 2 is here x 5 okay. and therefore, this also turns out to be 0. Any other element let us say that uh, and the same way you will have dou f 3 by dou x 3. f 3 is x 6. Okay, so, this quantity also vanishes. Let us evaluate this quantity. So, therefore, we have on the right hand side itself you can write. Do f 3 by do x 1. and f 3 is x 6. So, again this is not a function of x 1 and therefore, this is 0. So, this quantity here the uh, what I am showing from here to here all the elements will be these 9 elements will be 0. Okay, so, all of them they, they are 0. So, this forms a this is in this format all the 9 elements here these are 0. It remains to determine the other so total 9 we have determined the rest 27 we have to further decide how much uh, what will be their values of those elements. Okay. So, 
So, do f 1 let us first then work out this do f 1 by do x 4 do f 1 by do x 4 and f 1 as we have written here is f 1 is nothing but x 4. this is 4. So, this is 1. Okay. The next element then is do f 1 by do x 5. So, do f 1 by do x 5 this quantity is 0. So, what you will see if you do this exercise. So, you will see that this quantity from here to here it comes here in this format 1 0 0 0 1 0 we can check for do f 3 by do x 6 do f 3 by do x 6 do x 6 and f 3 f 3 is from here this is x 6. So, this quantity is also equal to 1 rest other quantities of the diagonal terms they are 0 let us say do f 1 by do x 6. So, do f 1 by do x 6 and f 1 is x 4 from this place we are getting. So, this quantity is again 0. So, this way all the quantities uh, all the diagonal uh, of diagonal terms elements of this uh, partition will be 0. Okay. Rest then we have from here we will have do f 4 by do x 1 and so on and here do f 4 by do x 3 and this will go up to do f 4 by do x 6. And of course, here then your do f 5 by do x 1 it will start from this place and in this place you will have the element here this particular row the fifth row it will the last element this part will be do f 5 by do x 6. So, the fifth row I have not shown here this is the first element of the fifth row and this is the last element of the fifth row. Okay, so, first we will check for this element do f 4 by do x 1. do f 4 by do x 1 and what is f 4 for that we need to go here then see the f 4 is this quantity minus mu by r q x 1. So, minus mu by r q x 1, but r is itself a function of x 1 square x 2 square plus x 3 square. So, we need to differentiate this and this both in taking the partial derivative. Once we differentiate it will appear like this minus 3 mu by r to the power 4 x 1 plus mu by r cube. Okay. And we can rearrange them to write as 3 mu by r to the power 4 Okay. And here one more term we are missing which we have to introduce here. Once we are differentiating this r, so also we have to write here do r by do x 1 okay. and then plus this quantity mu by r q do x 1 by do x 1 by do x 1 this will be equal to 0. So, this quantity is missing and that quantity we need to work out from this place. So, 
2 times r dou r by dou x 1 this will be equal to 2 times x 1 dou x 1 by dou x 1. So, this is 2 x 1 and therefore, dou r by dou x 1 this gets reduced to x 1 by r and once we insert here in this place. Okay. This line we directly write first here in this place and there thereafter we modify. So, this is minus minus plus 3 mu by r to the power 4 3 mu by r to the power 4 x 1 times dou r by dou x 1 is x 1 by r and minus this becomes mu by r cube this is 3 mu by r to the power 5 x 1 square minus mu by r cube. So, this is what we get as the fourth row first element. And this way we can uh, find out all the elements of all the elements which are involved from this place to this place. There are 9 elements here and all these 9 elements can be evaluated. So, on the next page I will summarize this and if you calculate this part ok do f 6 by do x 6. So, this also we need to check f 6 is Ok, uh, a few elements we will check and thereafter we will come to this, this part. Do f 4, here the fourth row, second element, this will be do f 4 by do x 2. Do f 4 by do x 2. The quantity f 4. is minus mu by r q x 1 minus mu by r q x 1. So, we can see that the x 2 is here and x 1 is here. Okay, so, x 1 is not a function of x 2 therefore, we did not differentiate the second part and we will get here minus minus plus mu by r to the power 4 and do r by do x 2 and 3 will appear here. So, this is mu by r to the power 4 and uh, and times x 1 we have to write here do r by do x 2 this quantity will be x 2 by r times x 1. So, this is mu times x 1 x 2 divided by r to the power 5. In the same way you will have do f 4 by do x 3 equal to mu times f 4 naturally it contains x 1. So, x 1 will appear here and because of this x 3 and differentiation of r with respect to x 3 we get here term x 3 r to the power 5. 
this way you will be able to complete all the terms. Now, uh, the only term that we are left with is here in this row dou f 4 by dou x 5. This we have to work out this particular partition. Similarly, in the sixth row, the last row, this will be do f6 divided by do x uh, x1 x2. Now, this is up to only 3, this is up to 3 here x3, and here it starts with 4 and then do f4 by do x5. Similarly, here do f6 uh, by do x4, here do, there will be do f6 by do x3. Do f six by do x five and last element do f six by do x six. So, so I will write it little clearly. Here we will have do f 5 by do x 6. Similarly, here in this place we have do f 5 by do x 1 and so on. So, this row will continue like this in the fifth row. So, we uh, evaluate this quantity do x 4 by do f 4 by do x 4. Okay. Okay, so, uh, we were working with this particular term do f 4 by do x 4. do f 4 by do x 4. So, f 4 is this quantity mu by r cube x 1. So, if you look into this you take the partial derivative. So, this gives us mu we can take it outside. mu by x 1 by r cube. So, already we have looked into that r square this is function of x 1 square x x 1 x 2 and x 3 and therefore, do r by do x 4 this quantity will be 0 because nowhere here x 4 comes there is nowhere x 4 present in this term thereafter there is nothing you do not have anything here. So, this quantity gets reduced to 0 and x 1 also do x 1 by do x 4 this quantity is 0 because x 1 is not a function of x 4. So, this way you will see that this quantity is equal to 0. So, all other terms in that matrix that turns out to be 0. So, finally, we can uh, Uh, write this as the Jacobian matrix which we were writing this matrix. Let us say this Jacobian matrix we write as A. Okay. So, this matrix can be written as A equal to 0 0 0 0 0 
and other ele elements we have to enter here. So, do f by do f 4 by do x 1 already we have evaluated do f 4 by do x 1 is a quantity we have written here. Okay. So, this is uh, mu times 3 x 1 square by r to the power 5 minus 1 by r cube. This is the first element. The second element do f 4 by do x 2 is mu times uh, we won't be able to adjust here. Uh, let me try. So we'll go on the next page. The first element we have 3 mu times 3 mu times 3 x 1 square divided by r to the power 5 minus 1 by r cube. The second element we are taking from this place, this particular element which is coming here do f 4 by do x 2. So, this quantity is mu x 1 x 2 divided by r to the power 5 mu x 1 x 2 divided by r to the power 5. The next element we have written mu x 1 x 3 divided by r to the power 5. And if you further differentiate uh, you will get the other terms also and it will appear like this. 3 x 2 a square by r to the power 5. You can check the other terms. This uh, 3 is missing here. So, we need to place this 3. Similarly, the 3 is missing here in this place. So, uh, 3 is missing here, we place 3 in all these places. So, 3 mu, now this will be x 2 x 3. You can see this is uh, off diagonal terms, they are symmetric. Okay, so this constitutes your 9 into 9, 18 elements, and rest of the elements are 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and here in this place, okay, so this is your A, the Jacobian matrix which we have got after linearizing the equation x tilde dot equal to f x tilde. And this term briefly also it can be written as mu by r to the power 5 3 x 1 square minus r square. So, this way also we can write it is not a problem. Okay, once we have determined this Jacobian matrix, so delta x dot then we can write as a times delta x tilde, delta x tilde dot equal to a times delta x tilde which we have got after linearizing this equation x dot equal to f x tilde where a is nothing but do f by do f 
which is a vector itself and x tilde. And this can be solved. So, solution to this from your basic mathematics or those who have done the control course, they must be aware of this is a times t minus t 0 or from your differential equation, this can be written this way, where t equal to t 0, this is the initial time and delta x tilde is the initial state as appearing in, in this equation. Okay. And this quantity is written as phi t t 0 and we insert if we insert here in this place. Okay. So, we get phi dot t t 0 this is a constant this is the initial condition and this part insert here on the right hand side. So, this gets reduced to a times phi t t 0 delta x tilde 0. Since delta x tilde 0 is not equal to 0 and therefore, phi t t 0 this quantity equal to a times phi t t 0, where phi t t 0 this is your transition matrix. So, any controls book you look into the uh, state space method, state space control and there you will find what this transition matrix properties are. So, I will just state that phi t t 0 this equal to i which is the i is the identity matrix and therefore, this phi t t 0 at difference instant of time it can be evaluated by integrating this. So, this quantity will be a phi t t 0 t 0 to t d t. Okay, so, you are starting with uh, this initial value, uh, you can go on to keep on integrating and step by step you can get this or either this uh, transition matrix it is also written as this equal to e to the power a t minus t 0. So, this is i times a times t minus t 0 plus a square by 2 factorial where A is a matrix remember this is the Jacobian matrix t minus t 0 a square a q by 3 factorial t minus t 0 whole cube and up to infinity. Okay. So, this method of evaluation evaluating the transition matrix at different instant of time it is a costly because you have to keep uh, multiplying the matrices one after other okay. and uh, the more term you take the more accurate this will be. Here in this case once you have you are starting with the value of the a and you have this uh, phi t t 0 uh, t 0 t 0 initially right in the beginning equal to identity matrix. So, you can just keep integrating and you will get this result the uh, transition matrix at different instant of time and this is comma not one these are comma. Okay, so, this way your uh, transition matrix is evaluated and why we are doing this it will be shortly visible to you.
So, we stop here and uh, we will uh, continue with this topic in the next lecture.